Hello, hello guys. Uh, it's me, it's Bongi. Namaste, Tarev, Ndiepi, Tanbonani, uh, Dumilang, Kuyamor, Nihau, Ola. Anyway, we, we have a Dell laptop. <clears throat> Let's see. Came here for a repair. I don't know what's wrong with this machine. So let's go ahead. Let's leave my chain. Okay, it's not charging. Oh wow, it's turning on. It's working. This is working 100%. There's no issue. No, I'm just joking, guys. <laughs> What's that? Okay, it stands on and then quickly goes off see it went off so you again do have a lights and then after some few seconds goes away see it goes off then again taking 400 milliamps and after that goes off you can see there is no light okay let's open the whole machine Okay, the fan is spinning. You can see, and then go off. Let me press one more time. The fan is spinning, and then the machine will go off. See, went off. Okay. So, let's discuss right now what can cause this. Uh, the five shorted five volts. Uh, some deity corrosion. BIOS, plenty things that can cause this, plenty reasons, but anyway, let's fix it. Okay, guys, uh, have this board right in front of me. So right now, I need a power button. There's no power button. Otherwise, I know Dell laptops, sometimes they do turn on without a power button. But let's try, let's see. Remember, it was turning on and then quickly shut down. Now let's see, it's turning on, when it's spinning, then went off, I think it should, uh, it should reset, or do something like that, so let's see, okay, 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 now we need a power button. Okay, guys, uh, it keeps on turning on and then quickly goes, goes off. So what do you do? In this case, 191, 192. Okay, that's very low. 3.3 .3 and uh, 5 volt. But uh, very very oh, are down 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 we have to remove them check them one by one one hello see so what you do you have to locate those mosfets okay there we are let's check them down the four of them and then i will check them 
one by one and see which one has a low value. So now what you do check in every one of them uh let's check them zero let's check them one nine two one i mean that two are fine two are hundred Change this, keep this two. Let's find the donor port. Okay, I have port. Repeat the same thing, you remove those components. Right now, let's check which one is which. I find a nine, fine. Right, this is fine. This one. Okay, so it means you can use any of the can use any of this without any issues. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, all right. So now it is so important to check. You see the dots. See the dots it should align with this dot. Consino that dot should align with that dot. And again, well, where there's a dot, so there should be a separate pin of which is gate, and there it is. We have to confirm where there's a dot. There should be a separate pin there, the fourth pin. Where there's a dot again, there should be a separate pin. This comes a there's there comes a big problem. I think this one is not installed proper. Okay, this one it is. I think we have to remove this. So if I'm seeing right or wrong, I'm correct or I'm wrong. I think I take
confirm here i can't afford any mistake Oh, I'm right. Are they touching or not? We have to confirm, guys. We have to be sure. Okay, they are not touching. That's fine. Confirm if this and this are all connected together. Yes, they are. All right. This is this and that. Eight. And not touching. Not shorted. Okay. Anyway, this is it. This is fine. 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 So now, let's continue. Oh, before we continue, let's check the values and see if we're still getting 100 and, uh, 100 and something on the 3.3 and 5 volts. You can just tell this is a 3.3 and 5 volts. Just seeing. I can just tell. We can rotate the board. Now let's check again the 3.3 and the volt and see if we're still receiving something or not. Now we're getting 489. What about 402? Again, I won't jump into conclusions. See, this is now working. So continue to check some things. Okay, okay, it is. I'm ready. The problem now with this to close. One giving issue here. Okay, check the value. I want to check the value. 140, 42. The MOSFET giving issues here is the one connected to ground. Here, rear, rear. I have to find a tape, a heat resistance tape. Okay, guys, uh, now, remember what I said. I said, the reason why we're having that 141 ohms there on this power supply can be caused by this. But why I remove this? Because this one is the one connected to the ground. So the MOSFET that normally loses value is the one that are connected to ground. Let's see anyway. 
Okay, this is fine. Always, this can't be that fine. Always, this means they are both fine, and then it means they are both fine. The issue then, the issue then, not on the MOSFET. But let's see. Okay, okay, okay. Let's check. Adding, let's reverse. Yeah. Okay, fine. Let me put let me put them back together. It means the issue not coming from the from the MOSFET. Oh, that's fine. Okay, guys, uh, let's move on. Okay, so now, okay, hot now what do we check do we check next what do we check next did change this okay now let's uh let's um let's check the board Okay, let's wait for the pot to cool down. And then, and let me look for the files to program the BIOS as well. Okay, now, since the pot doesn't work and still doing the same thing, so we have to program the BIOS. Let's go ahead, let's program the BIOS. All right, guys, right after programming the BIOS, pin turned on, but the string is broken. So I had to connect the string right there. So the issue here was the BIOS, the BIOS file uh, was corrupted. One of them was corrupted and it's now working 100%. Anyway, before I go, don't forget to to press the subscribe button and uh, stay tuned. I'll, I love you so much, guys. Bye-bye.